Hi, Wendy Weaver here for her theater arts acting assignment. I've chosen to do my assignment on the soliloquy found in Act 1, Scene 2 of Hamlet, in which Hamlet expresses his emotions regarding the quick marriage of his mother Gertrude to his uncle Claudius within two months of his father's death. Just what exactly did inspire me to choose this particular soliloquy from Act 1, Scene 2 of Hamlet? Well, the answer to that is really rather simple. After viewing the Kenneth Brownman version of Hamlet for the first time, I developed such a love with the story that I decided to go and see every version of Hamlet that I could. It was along this quest that I saw a version of Hamlet starring Patrick Stewart as Claudius. And this particular version of Hamlet is what inspired me to dress the way I have for this thing today. Throughout the film, Hamlet wore a plain colored shirt, blue jeans, and was barefoot. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Oh, that the everlasting hath not fixed his can against self-slaughter. Oh, God, God, how weary, stale, flat and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. Fie, aunt, ah, fie, tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed. Things rank and gross in nature possess it merely that it should come to this. But two months dead, nay, not so much, not two, so excellent the king that was to this Hyperion to a satyr, so loving to my mother that he might not be teen, the winds of heaven visit her face too roughly. Heaven and earth must I remember why she would hang on him as if increase of appetite had grown, but what it fed on, and yet within a month. Let me not think on frailty. Thy name is woman. A little month ere those shoes were old, with which she followed my poor father's body, like Niobe, all tears. Why she, even she, oh God, a beast that lacks discourse of reason would have mourned longer, married with mine uncle, my father's brother, but no more like my father than I to Hercules. Within a month, ere yet the salt of most unrighteous tears had left the flushing in her gullied eyes, she married. Oh, most wicked speed to post with such dexterity to incestuous sheets. It is not, nor cannot come to good, but break my heart, for I must hold my tongue.